playing against Grandmaster Alexandr Nevsky. And we are going to play d4. So we have to win this one. We have to win, definitely. The Trompovsky. Come on, Trompovsky. e4. Come on. Okay, pawn to c3. It's is theoretical. Uh, pawn to d5. Uh, let's go bishop to b d3. Okay, knight e2. Okay, let's castle. So he cannot take the pawn for the moment. Because if he take, take, take on d4 everything, I have bishop b5 check. So it's safe for the for the moment. Okay, queen to d8. Uh, let's go knight to d2. So still no threats for him. Okay, he takes, I take back. So if he takes, I take, he takes on e4, and I take everything and bishop b5 check. So for the moment, it's, uh, it's not bringing any results. Now, we can go rook c1, bishop b1, and thread some checkmates. Anyway, rook c1 seems a decent move, adding pressure on the knight. Maybe knight c5 is playable also at some point. Uh, okay, bishop b1. Anyway, it will go going to be on the better square. So now when he plays f5, I, I will play knight c5 eventually. And queen b3. He cannot move the pawn to develop the bishop. And if he plays, okay, queen d3, f5, knight c5, bishop f6, he's going to be a, a questioning line. But rook d1, yeah. And if he starts with f5 now, knight c5, bishop f6, queen b3, I am doing okay. Let me go queen d3 here. Now we could start with pawn to a3. To make sure, so queen d3, knight b4, and uh, nothing is working over there. Let's go a3 first. Okay, so now let's go queen d3 because it makes sense. Okay, uh, the rook to d1. So now, what we have to do is put pressure on this king. Uh, so if bishop a2 with the idea to play d5 is, is, uh, is interesting. Because I'm constraining this d5 square anyway, nothing to do on this long diagonal anymore. So this is a very, very strategical game, which is hard to play against GMs, because uh, they are good at that. Usually you are on their turf, because they love to play the isolated pawn and, and all those pawn structures. But I'm feeling confident in my skills, in my chess skills, and uh, well, I don't know why I should be worse than them. Even if... Uh, Usually there are masters in, in, in those positions because I've studied a lot. I studied a lot as well, so everybody studied a lot. They did, I did. Okay, so now if I take, he takes my queen, I take back, he goes knight takes c5. I don't like what's happening, but if I push d5, I don't see what's the problem. I honestly just don't see the problem and I don't want to think too much. Okay, knight d4. I I thought I thought about this move. Um, I thought about this move. Is this like that good? 
I have to take obviously and here this is the question time Can I play d6, bishop f5, rook c7? He takes here. Okay, e6, bishop here, no. Um, let's go knight to d2, and then knight to f3, trying to grab the d4 pawn. So queen to b3 now, attacking b7, and maybe threatening d6. And then knight to f3, attacking the pawn. And maybe I will implement pawn to h3 to make sure he doesn't have time to play bishop g4. And anyway, I will be uh, covering the, the checkmates on the first rank. Though he has moved like rook e2 as well. Oh boy, it's too complicated. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like when things get this, this, comp this complicated. Okay, he wants to trade the queens himself. So then if I take, take, knight to c4, plays rook here. Okay, let's take and bishop to c4 maybe, covering the e2 square, because I don't want him to come in on e2. Pretty low on time though. Uh, okay, pawn to f3. Pawn b5, bishop b3, okay, knight. No, okay, let's bring the king to here. Have no time to play knight b3 because of pawn b5 now. This is, this is bad. Okay, this pawn is attacked. It's getting bad. It's getting really bad now. I have to put knight e4. I need knight e4 in. Time is getting low. He's playing better than me. Bishop b3. Covering the tc2 square is very important. <sighs> Knight to e4 is pretty much my only move. Okay, I got to take this pawn. Hook to f3. Okay, bishop d1. Okay, it's low on time as well. It's low on time as well. Tries to get this pawn. Uh, okay, let's go bishop e2. Let's go rook d1 here. This looks like losing now. This looks pretty much like losing. Um, only if I could perform the fortress. Uh, okay. Okay, I can commit the king to the b3 pawn, and I can, I can, I can, uh, I can move along like that. This is drawn. This is drawn. <sighs> okay, it's a good draw, really. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty proud of my technique in this endgame because uh, it was not obvious how to draw against this GM. <sighs> so, well, 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 good draw, good draw here.